wonder if you could give any update on the status of the plans for training in Europe for Ukrainians on the howitzers and radars and some of the other items from this latest package. And also, I know you're just getting started on that latest package, but is there room, in Secretary's Austin mind, is there room to expand even further the kinds of assistance that can be given to Ukraine that would be suitable for this new offensive that the Russians are conducting in the Donbass? Um, so a cu couple of thoughts there. I don't have any updates for you on the, on the training, on the howitzer training. Uh, the, there is a... Uh, there is a plan in place, and we're we're beginning to execute that that plan to get that uh, training done. Again, it will be for a uh, uh, a fairly limited amount of of Ukrainian trainers that will then go in and uh, and, and train their colleagues. It'll be outside the country, uh, but right now we're just uh, not in a position where we can sort of detail a lot of this. But uh, but there but but the plan's in place, uh, and we expect to be able to get that training uh, accomplished. Um, very, very soon, uh, in a matter of, 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 of days. And again, I, th I think we'll be able to have more, more to talk about uh, a little bit later in the week on that. Um, and as for what's in the, uh, the drawdown package, I think you, know, you saw we detailed all the items that are going into that, and, that and, we're, and we're focused right now on sourcing those items. Um, uh, on the howitzers specifically, I think that you'll see them move very, very soon. Uh, I don't have any shipments to speak to today, but I think you, you'll see them move very, very soon, as well as the, the ammunition that goes with them. Um, and as I, I think I said yesterday, you know, we've, we've definitely sourced the 18. We know where they're coming from. Um, it's really just a matter now of, of uh, getting them packaged up and, and getting them on the way. They'll be coming from the United States. And again, I think it's, it's really uh, very, very soon, matter, matter, of, uh, matter of days here. Um, and um, same for the ammunition. Uh, we believe we'll be able to pull uh, virtually all of that out of prepositioned stocks that are already in Europe. So it won't take very long to get the artillery rounds uh, where, they need to, where they need to go. And as for the other systems, I don't have any um, specific uh, uh, training scenarios to speak to with respect to the, the two radars, the two portable radar, radar systems that we are providing uh, Ukraine. Again, we don't believe that in, in those cases that there's, there's going to be any, anywhere near an onerous training process for that. These are counter artillery radar and a portable air defense radar system, the Sentinel, um, which you tow behind a vehicle. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's not equipment that the Ukrainians intrinsically know how to use, but we don't believe it's going to take very long to get them uh, the proper familiarization. I just don't have any plans on that to talk about. My other question was about whether you're considering a wider array of of weaponry or other kinds of support beyond this. For this be... pack, for this package that we're working on now, we're working on the systems we already announced that are part of that. And to answer, I think to answer your question, they are exactly the kinds of systems the Ukrainians have been asking for, and they are tailored and designed. The things that we're giving them, tailored and designed for the fight. Uh, that we know they're in now in the Donbass and, and, and will be in coming days and weeks. So, I mean, artillery, the, the, the radar systems, uh, uh, the coastal defense uh, unmanned systems that we're talking about, uh, as well as, again, continued deliveries of small arms and ammunition, uh, which I know doesn't get the attention of everybody, but it is still a vital, vital con uh, contribution in, in terms of the security assistance packages we've been providing. Since the invasion, uh, uh, we have helped deliver, not just from our stocks, but from stocks of other nations, more than 50 million rounds of small arms ammunition of various calibers. 50 million. Um, and that's the kind of stuff that the Ukrainians are literally using every single day uh, since this invasion began. So uh, all of that will also be factored into these, this package going forward. So one last thing. So what, I, what I was trying to get at was the Ukrainians are also asking for other things beyond that. I mean, they're talking about tanks, aircraft, and I know you've talked about this before, but are you, are you reconsidering any of those sort of things? It's not about reconsidering, uh, Bob. I mean, they, they, have, they have received tanks from other nations. I mean, the kinds of tanks that they know how to use uh, are not the tanks that we have in our in our inventory, but other nations have provided uh, some some tanks. Some nations have provided spare parts so that they can get their inoperable tanks operable again. Um, and I would say the same on on aircraft. I mean, they have received um, support on uh, for for for. Uh, for uh, to, to get some of their fixed-wing aircraft, you know, more operable again. 
Um, so, and look, the proof's in the pudding there. I mean, they, they right now have available to them more fixed wing uh, fighter aircraft than they did two weeks ago. And that's not by accident. That's because other nations who have experience with those kinds of aircraft have been able to help them get uh, get more aircraft up up uh, up and running. So, um, the the short answer to I guess the question that I three times failed to answer, but the short answer is is yes. We're working with the Ukrainians every day on on helping them with those other systems. And if it's a system that we can procure for them or get to them, we'll, we're doing that. Um, and certainly if it's one that, that we can pull down from our own stocks, that's largely what Drawdown Authority is all about. But in the case where it's not that, we are working with allies and partners who do have access uh, to whether it's spare parts or whole systems uh, to, be able to, uh, to be able to get that into Ukraine for their use. Thank you. Yeah.